Hi, this is Bob Bentz. I'm president of ATS Mobile in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania in suburban Philadelphia. And the title of our presentation today is Relevance Raises Response, Reaching Customers on Their Mobile Devices. What we are going to talk about today is a mobile digital advertising strategy that can help your business. We worked hard to create packages that will work for your retail business along with LMC. Now think about news gathering and how you gather your news today versus 100 years ago. It's quite different, isn't it? And that's because mobile has changed everything in our lives. Here's a couple of interesting pictures which show the difference that only eight years has made. In 2005, this is the announcement of the new Pope. And you'll see that one person in the lower right-hand corner has a flip phone who's taking a picture of this announcement. Look at it eight years later in 2013, and you'll see how mobile has changed everything that we do in our lives today. So what we're going to do is give you some background on just how critical mobile is. Now, when we got started in mobile marketing, it was important to mention these statistics because they were quite surprising to many people. But today, uh, all of us realize, and we look around, all we need to do is to look around and see uh, the many people doing various things on their mobile phone in addition to what they were originally created for, and that is to actually talk. So in uh, 2015, 78% of us now own smartphones, and it's really smartphones that have changed the whole landscape of mobile marketing. When we first got started in mobile many years ago, uh, there really was only text message marketing, which we also offer and greatly believe in. Uh, but the, it is the proliferation of smartphones, which now over three quarters of us own, that has really changed the landscape and has made mobile advertising such a powerful tool for retail stores. And here you see a breakdown uh, of the percentage of people at various age groups that are smartphone users. We spend a lot of time on our mobile devices. In fact, we're spending three hours per day on our mobile devices. That's more than print and radio combined. And it won't be long until the amount of time we spend on our mobile, in fact, only two more years, uh, according to projections, that we will spend more time on our mobile phones than watching TV. Mobile advertising is growing at rapid pace. In fact, in 2014, 71% growth over the previous year in 2013. Those numbers are going to come in at about 50% here in 2015. And this chart here shows where that advertising dollars are coming from, mostly from print advertising, which of course no longer has the reach that it once had. So what we do at ATS Mobile is we specialize in, in engaging your customers and acquiring their business. And we do this through a variety of means that only mobile marketing can do. Traditional media just doesn't have the ability to do many of the things that mobile marketing can do. And at this point, I'm going to introduce our creative director, Michael Candelori, who will talk about some of those things. Thanks, Bob. I'm going to talk about some of the things that make mobile marketing really unique and differentiated from some of the traditional media you might use, like print or outdoor. The first is geofencing and geoconquesting. So basically, when we serve these ads, what we're able to do is define, define a specific geographic area where those ads will serve. It may be five miles from your location, or we can create what are called geofences around your competitors' stores and say anyone who's within a half mile of your competitors' locations will also receive your ads. So unlike traditional media, which may play to an entire city or even an entire region, these ads will only play to your specific trading area and only show to consumers that are within that space. Second is demographic targeting. And so if you have a pretty good sense of who your customer is, what interests they may have, job titles, and those sorts of information that they may put on social media, we can actually use those interests and behaviors to create specific audiences of users who are going to be very interested in your message. So again, unlike traditional media, which may have a, a broad audience and, and reach many people who aren't necessarily relevant to your message or would not be likely to come into your store, we're only going to serve these ads to people who are most likely to buy from your establishment. And finally, day parting and, and on-off schedules. So basically, if you happen to know that the weekends are heavier in business than the, the weekdays, we can serve your ads only at those specific days, specific times. For example, if you have a lunchtime lull and you're trying to bring in new traffic, we can serve the ads in the late morning and try to drum up that foot traffic 
uh, in a kind of instant response environment that mobile advertising offers. The first place that your ads are going to run is in apps and on the mobile web. And so every day you consume these if you've got a smartphone. When you're using an app and you may be between levels in a game or browsing through some content and you see a, a square banner ad or maybe a video that plays in between two stages of an app, that's the sort of place that we're going to be putting your advertising in. Rather than spend the investment on a single publication or a single app or a single website, what we do is a process called real-time bidding where we know the people that we're trying to reach that are your customers in your area and so we only serve ads to them regardless of where they are, whether they're looking at a news site or maybe a construction related site or even playing a game. If we know that that customer is someone who's most likely to shop at your business, we're going to serve them an ad regardless of what they're doing at that time. And this means that we can access them across literally thousands of apps and mobile websites that will be relevant to your message. As Bob mentioned, another big part of our strategy is social media, uh, particularly Facebook. And so you have you may have experienced a Facebook ad at some point. It looks an awful lot like a regular person's post in your news feed. But in fact, it's a sponsored post that we put there uh, to put your message in front of the right people. Facebook has an incredible amount of targeting that we can do. We can really drill down and only get the consumers who are most relevant to your business. And that's because we share a lot of information about ourselves on Facebook. Every time that you go and like something or list your job title, uh, or become friends with somebody in your industry, Facebook actually takes that information and allows advertisers to tailor their messages specifically to those people. So if you're looking for general contractors, we can find everyone whose job title is general contracting. We can find everybody who likes Stanley Hardware, for example. And that allows us to only serve your ad to the people that it's going to be most relevant to, which again reduces what we call in other traditional media wasted spend, that is spending advertising money on people who aren't likely to shop at your business at all. As Bob mentioned, the last component of the mobile campaign is the landing page, and this is perhaps the most important. So when we do find a user who's interested in your ad, a contractor or someone redoing their deck who may want to come to your business and buy something, uh, they're going to tap on that ad with their mobile device. They're going to press the ad in Facebook or in an app or mobile web, and they're going to get taken, regardless of where they come from, into a single streamlined mobile landing page experience. So separately from a website you may have that's got all of the information and, and, and a, a lot of information about all of your products, the landing page is really tailored for the mobile experience. We know that when someone engages with a mobile ad, they may only have 20 to 30 seconds at that particular time, but they're still interested in receiving as much information as they can in that short span. And so the landing page directs them to the best ways to contact you, whether that be to call you via click to call button, to map your location directly by pressing that button. We can also feature a product here. So if you're having a particular sale during a particular month, we can feature that sort of content here. But the point is, the landing page is really intended to focus someone's attention and get them to convert into a customer as rapidly as we can without disturbing the kind of mobile experience that they're currently enjoying. Another component here, and we've got a separate video on this, as Bob mentioned, is text message marketing. Text marketing and mobile advertising can work hand in hand in that we can use mobile advertising to build your text database and find more customers who are interested in receiving targeted messages about sales you might have, special opportunities, or perhaps in updates about the industry. A complete campaign in action has a couple of great effects. At the very basic level, it generates awareness. Um, we've talked to some clients who say that, you know, I have a small business and there's a Home Depot down the street and I'm not sure everyone in my area, my immediate trading area, is even aware that I'm there. And so on a, on a macro level, we're able to generate a lot of awareness. We're talking about campaigns that have three or four or six or 900,000 impressions. Um, that's a lot of awareness that you can create in a very highly geo-targeted area. Secondly, uh, when we find users who are very interested in your message and they engage with that ad by tapping it and going to the mobile landing page, we're building engagement, we're building a profile of who the most likely people to click are, where the best websites and apps that your ad is serving, um, and we get a lot of data about those people who click and we're able to kind of build a profile of who the customers are that are, that are most likely to respond to your message. And finally, and ideally, we actually create a customer. Someone goes to that landing page and they click to call, they ask for your hours and they walk into your store a few hours later, or maybe they click a map uh, function and, and drive right over. And so, in the immediate sense, creating a customer is obviously a goal and it, it's what mobile advertising is, is really helpful for because we know that we're reaching already a very specific audience of people who are most likely to be shopping at your location. But it still shares some of the same benefits that traditional media do in terms of really broad awareness in the specific area um, that, you're, that you're serving geographically. 
And now I'm going to throw it back to Bob, who's going to talk about some of the packages that we have. Now, what you'll get when you work with us is not only our knowledge and information that we're going to provide to you, but you also get the creative that'll be used in your mobile marketing campaign. That'll be the various sizes that are needed for all in-app and on mobile website uh, pages. You'll also get uh, the proper creative for social media, which is a big part of what we do, including Facebook advertising. We will also create a landing page for you. We will host that landing page, and that landing page is where your customers will go to register for your text message marketing, or to receive more information, or to become members of your VIP club. What we will do is we'll take a look at your advertising on a daily and weekly basis. We do A-B testing to make sure that the best creative is running, the best picture is running, the best cop copy is running, and the best target market for your audience. We'll optimize that on a daily and weekly basis so we are giving you the best return on investment for your advertising dollars. And we'll give you statistics. Everything that you do in mobile marketing is trackable and we can give you real results of the number of people that have clicked through, the number of people that have signed up on the landing page, and the lift that you'll get at your store. Thanks for watching today's webinar. I'm Bob Benz, president of ATS Mobile. You can contact us at 610-688-6000 or send an email to sales at atsmobile.com. We look forward to working with you.